Hello friends! I'm not sure if we are live yet. Are we live yet? Putting on my gloves while trying to find out. Live. Are we live yet? Constant question. We're live, yes! Great! Welcome to a very cold and grey and relatively boring day here in Tokyo. Uh, I'm here in Jugaoka where I ended my last walk and the plan today is to finish walking along the Tokyo Oimachi line which is a train line that connects some of the neighborhoods in the southern parts of Tokyo to one each other and then the last stop is actually not in Tokyo but in Kawasaki so we will cross the border to Kawasaki as well in this one I expect it all to take about two hours and yes sorry for not uh, streaming in the last couple of days I just been a bit too busy um, taking care of our daughter and everything and uh, just didn't really have the time to also go out and do some walks so um, hope you understand that but yeah I can't put these walks on top of my priority list unfortunately but um, they do mean a lot to me so I try to do them whenever I can oh looks like it's about to Let's cross here before it's too late. There we go. Uh, so yeah, Jugaoka. I walked around a little bit here in the last walk. So I won't spend too much time uh, in this neighborhood. Um, those of you who want to see more of it um, can watch some of my dedicated Jugaoka walks on the channel. There's a few of them, both daytime and nighttime, I think. So, uh, yeah, and yes, this is live. So on the way, I also plan to make a stop at uh, one of my favorite temples, actually which is located quite near Jugaoka. Uh, I was there like a month ago and it was beautiful with the autumn leaves and colors. I'm sure most of, the, most of that is probably gone by now, but I just want to stop by anyway. Take a little look. Happy cat. How cute. It's very cold today. It feels like the coldest walk I've done in a very long time. Um, but I'm wearing gloves and uh, beanie and things like that. So I think we'll be fine. Good morning, Johan. Wow. I didn't expect to see a Swede because it's in the middle of the night in Sweden right now. January to February we're gonna be really cold yeah well after all I'm from Sweden so by my standards it's not that cold but uh, yeah it's definitely not it's not the most comfortable time of the year here in Japan that's for sure six degrees Celsius sounds right let's let's weather Oh, hello Jenny and S and everybody else. Glad you could all join with such a short notice today. Um, so yes, weather, 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 weather. As someone said, six degrees, six degrees. Not so windy though. Unfortunately, 
Yes, that was the Hoimachi, Hoimachi line that just passed. So it's about seven kilometers, uh, shortest route that I'm walking today. But yeah, like I said, I might do a detour or two um as well uh, as i want to keep it in roughly two hours today's walk it's just so gray and boring like everything just you know the entire city feels completely different on days like this compared on compared to what it's like on sunny days with blue sky but that's the way it is still need to walk still need to stay healthy and I still need to give you my dear viewers a bit of joy in these troubling times but there's actually a little bit of news I'm not sure how many of you have followed the, the news related to uh, COVID situation here in Japan but it's actually getting we're having more and more cases and it's quite likely that they will announce a state of emergency in Tokyo and the neighboring prefectures again uh, as early as tomorrow and if they do that I will probably try to really work harder to avoid riding the train during uh, busy hours and um, yeah, just getting, you know, going too far away from my home, which means having to spend a lot of time on trains. So um, it's quite likely that in the coming month or so, most of the walks will be relatively close to where I live again. So, um, yeah, I hope you'll understand that. And that my plan of walking along all the Tokyo metro lines, for example, that will ha probably have to wait a little bit. Uh, oh, hello, Irvan. Thank you very much. Always, always, always so generous. but closed uh, I think we're already yeah we're already at Kohombutsu which is the station next to Jiugaoka so here's the here's the temple that I was talking about we will get there soon day in Toshi line once the emergency kicks in yeah I'll probably do that uh, because day in Toshi line is the line I live on myself so it's quite easy and accessible for me uh, there's plenty of other areas that I could explore as well without having to go too far from from my part of town so it should be okay uh, so the, the no Jenny I see your question here about if Tokyo will do a proper Australia or New Zealand style lockdown and that's definitely not the case so what they're doing here is as always very weak just like please refrain from and what we're supposed to refrain from is going out after eight o'clock and uh, yeah that's about it and it's like yeah only please refrain from doing so there's nothing more than that so very weak but still I don't feel comfortable with the fact that the cases are on the rise and I also don't want to you know do something that could be considered inappropriate um, 
during times like these uh, just for the for the sake of some YouTube views so I'll be careful here's the temple in front Yeah, then I will go back to the station and uh, uh, follow the train tracks. I might do a bit of a detour to Todoroki as well and head down the ravine if there's enough time. Looks like it's clearing up a little bit, so that's nice. I'm surprised at every stream there's people asking about if there's snow uh, in uh, Tokyo. There's no snow right now as you can see but sometimes it snows. It's not uncommon. A little bit too late like a month ago this place was super beautiful um, then all the trees were like having this brightly colored red leaves and it was really 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 scenic uh, but uh, now it's feeling a little bit sad almost with all the trees being so bare Yeah, dry, dead, bare. He has a good belly. That's bigger than mine. It's pretty quiet, yeah. It's a weekday. Most people are at work. Um, It's a bit too late to get the beautiful views here. So a lot of people come here for the for the autumn views, uh, autumn autumn leaves scenery. <laughs> These are pretty interesting. I haven't seen this at the, any other temples actually that you're supposed to put your 
on Kuji on these. What are they? Cranes? It's quite rare and unusual. It's not wishes, it's like you, you get this thing called Omikuji for to tell your fortune. Ah, but I'm not sure because this is a temple. So it's a little bit different maybe. Usually at shrines you get these like fortune you get your fortune told and if it if you get a bad one you can leave it here at the at the place rather than bring it back home with you. Here on Scar. I'm so bad at birds. I'm definitely not a bird watcher. <laughs> Boogie boo, I love your videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And here's some cones for Ray. Looking forward to reading his cone report later. As always. <laughs> yeah, race con reports are really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Any idea when this temple was built? Ah, no, no idea, no idea whatsoever. Uh, Let's see, maybe there's some like information board somewhere. Uh, this is not about when it was built. This temple is widely known as Kohonbutsu, which is also the name of the nearest station, but formerly it's called Kuhonzan Yuizan Embutsu In Joshinji. And it was built in the Ero era, 1678. train tracks this is a really long a really nice residential quiet residential area again just like many others uh, along this train line very quiet and local Thank you, Jane. This is exciting, like experiencing Japan live along with Mr. Explorer. Thank you. Very happy to hear that. Taking you on these walks is very exciting for me as well. I really enjoy it. 
I enjoy it because you enjoy it. Just a second, folks. Okay, so almost at Kongbutsu station here, where I will follow the train tracks again. This is the direction we will be heading, but um, I will take a slightly different route. station reminds me of Kagurazaka era but this is more peaceful yeah I think this is a bit more peaceful than Kagurazaka Kagurazaka is very nice too but uh, Kagurazaka can be a bit busy <laughs> oh. have to hurry in order to make it to the other side Local supermarket Selling seasonal fruits and vegetables. Yeah, all these neighborhoods around this line, every station has quite a, you know nice little local shopping street with lots of cute small shops oh look some sun came out how appropriate ah. Thank you for the super chat, Jane McFoxwood. Thank you very much. I'm a kid indeed. Here's some land for sale if anyone is interested. Closer to the train tracks, actually.
no street next to the track, so I'll have to take this one. People hanging out there. Futons to dry. On a sunny day, that's what you're supposed to do because the sunlight kills the mold. There's mold in photons if you don't uh, dry them and if you don't take care of them well they get moldy especially during the summer because of the humid weather in Japan everything gets moldy here um, but especially photons you need to um, hang them out in the sun or dry them regularly a little bit closer to the train tracks here. Maybe. Looks like it. Oh, or not. That was just a dead end. Much prefer stones, not used a bed for close to 30 years. Uh, I prefer beds actually. Um, I don't mind stones, but I think sleeping on the floor is a little bit inconvenient. One thing that I really don't like actually is when I'm traveling for work um, my clients often want to kind of put me into what they consider are like nice accommodations and uh, quite often those are like those are ryokans. Ryokans are pretty expensive here in Japan and they usually come with you know a nice dinner and you pay a lot for that kind of for the ambience. I don't really mind your cons, like they can be nice, but after like a long day's work, then, you know, when I check into to the place I'm staying, I want to, I often want to just lay down on the bed and relax. But the thing is, the Ryokan rooms really, you know, they don't have a bed. They usually don't have a sofa or anything like that either. And uh, usually the staff puts out the futon while you're having dinner. But before dinner, there's like nowhere to lie down. It's only usually this uh, very uncomfortable chair thing on the floor where you can sit. So um, I always prefer like Western style hotels when I'm out working. If I'm traveling privately and it's for the experience and you maybe want to, you know, take a dip in some onsen or something, then it's a different thing. But yeah, when I'm traveling for work, I don't really like staying in Japanese style ryokans. Yeah, the chair thing with no legs. It's just super, I don't know, I consider it pretty useless. Finally, we are able to walk here next to the train tracks.
にちはいつも素敵な動画ありがとうございます、えー、ぜひ他にも来てくださいうんできるといいねでも日本の国内旅行高すぎるからあと今コロナだからちょっと難しいですねはい。It's vending machine. It's vending machine for the money Dave gave me. Let me get some drink here. Let's see if I have some. Coins. What should I get then? Hot chocolate or hot lemon? Hey, ingen öl. Ingen öl today. Get the corn soup. Okay, I'll get the corn soup. I'll get the corn soup. Let's corn soup. Three hours tonight. I think today's walk is probably gonna be around two hours, so 30 minutes down, one and a half hour to go.、Uh, Kampai! This yellow goo inside. Yes, it's warm. It's not so bad. Ma ma. Chotto usui. It's a little bit, little bit weak. Actually, quite nice on a day like this, and especially now since I'm already getting a bit hungry. I will have lunch after the stream, but、mm. 
It does have some corn, pieces of corn in it. Mm -hmm. Nice little cafe here. What's for lunch? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Mm, I'll have lunch on my own today. Um, so we'll see what I'm in the mood for after this, but I'm kind of considering getting some fried oysters because I know that there's a shop selling it uh, around where I will end the stream today. So I might go for that. We'll see. Kaki fry teishoku. Finished it. Quite nice. You want to see some coins? Never seen Japanese money before. You can do that. In just a moment. This is also a nice shopping street. Mm. I just have a few in the pocket right now, but there's some Japanese coins. 500 yen here, 100 yen, and 1 yen. 1 yen is the most useless coin ever. It doesn't even feel like it's made out of metal, but it is, but it feels like it's made of plastic. Um, so let me cross here. Or not really, we can walk down this way. Oh, thank you, Yenny. Thank you so much for the super chat. That's, that will pay for my fried oysters today. Thank you very much. And thank you, Craig, as well. Kaki fry, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much. if you're familiar with this but actually in Japan it's very common that bike parking is paid so here it's like this whole area next to the train tracks here is a paid bike parking so uh, you can get it either for show you um, so this red area here is where you're allowed to park the bikes and um, you can get like a monthly ticket uh, which is 1,800 yen. They pass for 100 yen or 12 times for 1,000 yen. This is for like um, mo lighter motorbikes, like scooters and stuff. So then it's a little bit more expensive. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty pretty different system compared to what I'm used to in uh, in Sweden, that where bike parking is paid. Actually, having a bicycle here in Japan is like can be a bit of a pain because often when I go to places, especially in central Tokyo, on a bike, it's always very difficult to find a place to park it. And if you park it, just put it anywhere on the street, uh, chances are that they will come and take it from, from you and you have to go like pay a fine in order to get it back. Um, and they're pretty strict about that. so. Uh, they regularly have like cars patrolling around and picking up like illegally parked bicycles. So yeah, it's it's a shame, but on, in a way it makes sense because if everybody was biking, you know, it would just be very chaotic. And also since Japanese are so obsessed with like keeping their streets nice and tidy letting people park their bikes anywhere would probably be quite chaotic but at the other hand it's like it's weird when you're like sometimes have to pay more if you take a bike somewhere compared to if you were to go there by train for example 
like in a way I think you know the authorities should be more promote people to to travel by bike in order to redu reduce the um, the overcrowding on the trains but yeah ah, greetings from Chile me and my girlfriend Nicole love your videos you make very good job thank you very much um, and in some parts of the city you know there's, there's usually always some bike parking near the train station but if you're going to a place a little bit further away from the station it's also like okay should you just park the bike at the station or should you go all the way to your final destination and hope that there will be a bike parking nearby yeah so windy really it's not windy at all today do you have like wind noise or something How are you doing today? Was the train ride long? No, from my place to to uh, Djurgauka is like less than 10 minutes by train. So, and I went. The time I went, there was like no one else on the train. So, not a problem at all. Hey, is the OnePlus 8 Pro a good phone for photo video for you? Yeah, I think so. I think it's one of the best. Android phones uh, for at least for photos video I mean I stream with it obviously uh, and I think it performs very well um, but other than that I don't really shoot much video with my phone besides the streams so I can't really say anything about that but uh, yeah it's one of the main reasons why I picked up this phone was for the for the great still image quality Oh, thank you, Yosef Sailor. Thank you very much. You're, pretty, you're all pretty um, generous today. Appreciate that. Um, you have a drone camera. Yes, I do have a drone. I have a Mavic, Mavic Mini. No, Mavic Air. Yeah, a Mavic Air. Uh, I use it sometimes, but not as often as I would like to. But sometimes, like when I went to Yakushima a few months ago, I had it with me and shot some drone footage with it. Um, do you listen to J-pop? No, I don't. I really, really, really dislike J-pop in general. I think it's mostly pretty awful music. Todoroki Station now. How cold is it? Uh, it's six degrees today. Uh, would you recommend the Osmo PM? Let me see. Is the stream still dead? Or do you see me? Do you hear me now? If you hear me, please let me know. It's back. Yeah? Great. Great. Okay, he respond. Great. Uh, so what I said was, um, 
I'm kind of debating if I should head down the Todoroki Ravine, which is this nice kind of green space nearby here. I've been there a couple of times in my streams though, uh, so maybe you are not so interested in seeing what that's like. So let me know, yes or no, um, in the comments. First option that gets five votes, I will pick that one. Okay, seems like people want to see the ravine, so let's go down there. It's gonna be like, what, 10-15 minutes detour? But uh, hopefully you will think that it's worth it. And hopefully also uh, reception will be all right down there. I'm a little bit worried that I might... Uh, I might drop. We'll see. She's got the little shrine at the stairs in the ravine. Okay. if I've ever been here myself during this time of the year actually got upset maybe they didn't want me here it's always so nice to come here though it's uh, it's always like you know entering a different world so green and also so quiet nice color the water quite blue this place that's why I keep coming here for my stream so often this ravine is uh, near Todoroki station in the south of Tokyo Hmm. 
the stream died for me now. Oh no, it's okay. Great. I did not end the stream, no. Maybe a bit of signal problems, but no, I'm, I'm even connected to 5G, full signal, so it should be okay. Maybe not much fish here, no. But we have some cones. We have some cones. Yeah, everyone wants to see some koi in here, but no koi. No koi, as far as I can see. If I've ever used a satellite phone. No, I've never used a satellite phone, actually. I never had any need or budget for one. Lots of people here. Lots of people shooting photos. Maybe some like photography club or something. Made in Tokyo. Where are you, by the way? You don't live in Tokyo anymore, I guess? Even though you were made here? Man, you can't believe this is Tokyo, right? Maybe right now, because you hear a lot of traffic from this bridge over us. Vakra Natur. Yes, Yari. It's indeed beautiful. Someone requested to see the shrine at the end, uh, but then I would kind of have to walk in a loop. So I think I'll have to pass on that for today and instead I'm thinking about taking uh, this, um, these stairs up that will take us more in the direction back to the, to the, um, to the train tracks but uh, yeah definitely one of my favorite little hideaways uh, in Tokyo. Ah, oh, you're near Hedogawa Bashi Station. I see. I see. Do you know why Tokyo does not clearly post street names? Because most streets doesn't have any names. That's probably why. On the names, on the streets that do have names, they uh, always put up signs regularly that are easy to find. But uh, yeah, most smaller streets just doesn't have any names. And 
must have missed it. It's a uh, Todoroki Ravine near Todoroki Station on the Oimachi line. Mr. Explorer, you have an easy listening, gentle voice. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy to hear that. How is Mini Explorer? She's great. She's doing very well today. Today my wife is not so busy, so she's taking care of her today. Um, but... Uh, I think in the afternoon after my stream I'll be in charge. Take us to the Imperial Palace. Not today. Where are you heading? Uh, I'm heading back to the train tracks so that I can keep following them. Although the train tracks are actually underground for a little while around here near uh, the Kaminoge station. So let me do a little map check. Right. Yeah, for a while now, I think train tracks will be underground. So. Oh, my home is near here. Oh, big trunk. Then we're almost neighbors. My home isn't too far away from here either. And yes, I know in the Yakuza game you can actually use cones as weapons. That's pretty hilarious. Good. Oh yeah? <laughs> I don't know, it really depends on who I'm talking to, I think. Because um, I, no I notice myself that sometimes I do start speaking with a more British accent, actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm very easily affected, depending on who I'm talking to. So I think if we cross here we will get to... We should get back to the train tracks. neighborhood but you've seen to death on this channel already but today we will pass it again I apologize in advance for that British accent in all your walks Tokyo for I'm not here with a British accent okay interesting when I talk to British people my own accent becomes more British, I think. Midwestern. Interesting. I've never heard that before. English good. Um, 
it's okay. It's for a Japanese person. I think her, my wife's English is pretty good, uh, but uh, yeah, she definitely has a, a bit of an accent, um, and uh, hmm. oh, no. you find your current neighborhood relatively pleasant compared to more central Tokyo uh, yeah it's very pleasant I would say I really like it there and I like the fact that it's a little bit quieter and has a little bit more greenery than living in central Tokyo but on the other hand it's also a little bit a um, little bit inconvenient at times because it's not I mean, it's like 15 minutes by train from Shibuya, so it's not far from central Tokyo, but compared to some of the places I lived before, which were more central, this is a little bit more inconvenient. But uh, yeah, I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons, and especially now when we have a, um, uh, when we have a baby, it's uh, nice to not be in the busy concrete jungle parts of Tokyo. There we have the train line again. So we just passed the one hour mark. So uh, about halfway through, I reckon. Yeah, the L and the R thing, right? That's... Oh, dead end. Oh no. A big park here just below the electricity lines oh, thank you Appalachian Wanderer thank you very much for the super chat mm, how about here can we walk along the train tracks here let's find out So, Todoroki Keikoku, Itta Bakari Jan. Totemo Ito Kore Desu Ne. Oh, looks like it's not really walkable here either. 
then I believe that it's soon right over there the train tracks goes underground for a while so I'll just walk along this nearby street interesting facade here looks very un-Japanese <laughs> Jari, do you have strong Finnish accent? Is that why? Tamagawa Shogako here. Okay, so we're already in Tamagawa. Oh, but here it says Nakamachi. Oh, address is not Tamagawa yet. Very quiet walk today. It became grey and boring again. <laughs> Good thing we don't have too far until we reach the end of the stream. Maybe three more kilometers? Three, four? Three. all over Yokohama yesterday nice I should do some videos from Yokohama as well I might do that relatively soon especially I don't know it feels a little bit better to go to Yokohama than Tokyo right now maybe it's just mental but uh, yeah I don't really feel like going to central Tokyo right now how come on a railway accident um, I really don't know to be honest I mean it's happens every now and then that the trains are delayed to due to what's called like Jinshinjiku or like human accident or person accident but you don't know if it's an accident or if it's a suicide so in many cases those so-called accidents are actually suicides so I don't know it's difficult to, to tell but you know Pretty sure it happens.
map check. So we are here. That was for the rocket station over there and we took the detour going down through the ravine and then I went up maybe around here and then following the big street for a while and then down here in the local areas again. Now we're here, Kaminoge station there and after Kaminoge station next stop is uh, Futako Tamagawa. I'm getting really hungry. Really look forward to those those fried oysters that I'll have after this stream. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. Hmm, can we cross here? Maybe we can. Yes, state of emergency will most likely be declared tomorrow and I talked about it in the beginning of this stream that I would probably avoid going to central Tokyo uh, for the time being. Here's Kaminoge station down here. I think it's the only somewhat underground train station on this line. The rest are all Ah, uh, maybe not. No, there's a few others. But most are level or elevated. Uh, so yeah, I will avoid going to central Tokyo. Maybe not 100%, but I will definitely not go very often. Only when I know for sure that I can do like both ways travel outside of the busy hours on the trains. Um, so there will probably be more streams from my local areas maybe also not everyday streaming I might cut down on that a little bit because uh, I'm actually planning to start a different channel um, and I should do a bit of prep work for that and also I need to spend a lot of time with my daughter so um, I think my ambition will be to at least stream on the weekend, like Saturdays and Sundays, and then maybe once or twice during the, the weekdays for the time being. Because also this time of the year is not really the most exciting time of the year to go out and walk. January and February are pretty grey and generally quite boring month to me so yeah there might be a bit of like a decrease in the number of streams for the coming two months or so especially if there will be this the emergency declaration If you don't mind me asking, you're pretty tall. Is there a big height difference between you and your wife? Uh, not as big as the difference between you and your wife. 
Uh, my wife is pretty tall for being Japanese, taller than average, and uh, I'm also like 10 centimeters shorter than you are. So, um, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty, we, we, we don't look uh, like, I don't think people really react when they see us together. and 140 centimeters pretty extreme I'm 190 ish and my wife is what 175 170 75 so yeah not not that big of a difference for us I think actually I should head down here It's good that you don't mind. And I'm sure you must look very cute together. Maybe I would also try to sneak a photo of you if I saw you on the street, who knows? <laughs> Around here you will see a lot of really fancy houses by Japanese standards, like this one. Maybe this one not, not so much. It's actually abandoned. It's crazy. The land that this house stands on must be worth a fortune. It's so big. Cats never love me. Cats never love me. Nice gate. I wonder if that's to someone's home. Uh, maybe not. Maybe. Ah, oh, this is probably the someone there. I think this is a museum. Yes, it is. 
Goto Goto Bijutsu Kan. Isn't it? I've never been actually. I should check it out, considering it's so close to where I live. see the Stock Tamagawa Rice shopping mall over there where I've also been so many times in my streams. One of my favorite spots for beer o'clock, the rooftop ta terrace there. Are you stream with your own smartphone and the GI on for now? Yes I am. That's what I always use. <laughs> they don't avoid me, they avoid the camera. I hope you're right. Maybe they would be a bit more uh, social if I put down the camera. Oh, thank you, Hertz Nazaria. Thank you very much for the very generous super chat. I really appreciate that. Good to hear that you enjoy my walks and that you feel that they bring some value to you. Uh, Where do you do Sweden walks? When you move away from Japan? Um, depends. Depends on if I'll move to Sweden, which is not uh, entirely sure. Uh, and probably not. Probably not. I don't think that there's enough interest for regular walks from Sweden. Uh, and I also don't think that I would enjoy making those. If I move, I will probably take a different direction with my YouTube, uh, with my YouTube projects, rather than this kind of walking videos. over the train tracks and now we're walking under them. wear a mask. I am wearing a mask.
い二玉川なわ。My sidewalk pattern. Yeah, I think they recently redid this actually. It used to be this wide, if I recall correctly. But this area is very. They're kind of trying to make it very pedestrian friendly, and there's a lot of families with kids living around here, so it's actually、uh, quite good in that sense because you really can't take that for granted here in Japan, especially in Tokyo. You know, many streets don't even have sidewalks at all, and here they're like really wide, so that's nice. Home. No, I'm not done with the walk yet.、Uh, I still have a few stops left to go until I reach the end of the Oimachi line. So I will cross the bridge、uh, over to Kanagawa Prefecture and then we will walk past the three last stations which are all in Kanagawa, in Kawasaki City, Kanagawa Prefecture. Then I will have those fried oysters to celebrate that I've managed to walk yet another train line from start to finish. And a half hours walk now. So yeah, I think I think my estimate of two hours was pretty spot on. Another half an hour and we should be in Mizunokuchi. That rice. Here it's, a, here it's a bit more lively. It's always lively around here, at least in the daytime. Reflection reveal.
It's not so busy though. If you come here on a weekend, it's super busy and crowded. I really try to avoid heading down here on the weekends. If you ever come here, I highly recommend getting a cup of hot chocolates here at this Italian cafe. It's actually really good. So it's at the Tamagawa station here. Won't go too long around here, but instead hand down under the train tracks. So that we can cross the bridge uh, and uh, leave Tokyo and head to Kawasaki. Maybe this is the first stream I'm doing where I actually cross the river during the stream. I don't remember. We're still in Tokyo. So far we're still in Tokyo for another three, four minutes. Tako Tamagawa is still Tokyo. girl I did I did yes I did do that indeed I have crossed it I don't think I've crossed it here but I've crossed it in at other parts further upstream it's a different municipality it's in a different prefecture which would be equivalent to a different state even and by American terminology so yes Kawasaki is not Tokyo here is Tokyo here is Tokyo this is Tokyo but that's what you see over there that's Kawasaki across this bridge quite often but what I don't like about it is that it's pretty narrow I wish they made the pedestrian part a little bit wider especially during like the busy times Got, like lots of bikes here and being close to having accidents several times
train platform for the Oimachi line and the Dainsuchi line. Pretty dramatic sky. Playing down by the riverbed. Of course, we have this very nice park next to the river that I really like, but this time of the year it just looks really sad. This brown, yellow brown grass. talking about something that happened recently I must have missed that to be honest I don't know what you're talking about ah from year 2000 yeah yeah, yeah I know that but what does that have to do with anything right now is there any new like someone said it's all over the all over the news right now it is a pretty r wide river yeah but this river flooded two years ago I mentioned that before but you can still see like there's probably see that there's some construction going on there that might be because they're still like repairing things from the flooding so when that happened the water level was actually yeah this entire the entire park was uh, underwater so that's why it's so wide to to be able to uh, you know not cause any damage when there's the, big amounts of rainfall Is someone camping down here? left Tokyo finally flood mitigation works that's the term yes sorry those kind of technical terms are a bit tricky for me since English is not my native language I know that this green light is very goes away way very quickly. I mean, it's like red for five minutes. So ah, glad we managed. Kawasaki City, yay! Let me think. I think we can go through here.
we're already at the next station. So we have this station here, Takoshinchi, and then two more stops, and we will be at the end. Let me see. I think we might be able to walk down here, but I'm not sure. Let's see. So one of my oh second cat. You see? subscriber how often do you stream from Tokyo oh it depends but sometimes almost every day but at least a couple of times every week um, it depends but it might be a little bit less often in the coming couple of months but at least I'm still aiming for at least three four times a week a, a week Oh, yes. Garbage truck. So now I think we can follow the train tracks pretty much straight. Well, the Japan Rexi is not very interested in this case, but I don't know if I'm very interested in知らない。ちょっと興味ないそんなに興味ないですね。僕にとって未来の方が歴史より興味あります。So one of my Japanese viewers asks if I'm interested in Japanese history. And my response is that I'm not so interested in Japanese history or history in general to be honest I'm more interested in the future than the past I mean of course I have some basic knowledge of Japanese history but uh, compared to some people who are really obsessed with it and things that thinks that samurai are the coolest thing ever and whatnot I'm not one of those I yeah I'm more interested in contemporary Japan than Japan of the past. I don't know about how much garbage truck workers are paid here in Japan, to be honest. I have no idea. Today is garbage pickup day though. We saw a garbage truck just now and then here we have a bit of mountain of garbage so probably about to pick that up as well.
we're already getting close to the next station they're pretty close together around here next stop is Takatsu this stretch is really boring by the way that I'm walking right now but then at the next station it will be a little bit more commercial and colorful again Japanese workers go on strike uh, I've never heard about it not not in recent years I think it's very rare going against your employer would be pretty extreme by Japanese standards I think it used to be different though Japanese people used to be more vocal and uh, questioning authorities back in the 60s and 70s uh, but uh, in today's Japan, yeah, I don't think I've ever heard about strikes. Takatsu station here. Not very long, not very far to go from here. choose your route um, it depends from walk to walk but recently I've been mostly following train li train lines and train tracks uh, pretty fun so I think I will try to stick with that concept for a while um, so this is what the third train line I'm covering in like two weeks Not sure what I will do after this. It really depends on the whole state of emergency thing. If that happens, it might be a little bit more difficult to stick with the train line concept. really craving those oysters <laughs> it's top and 60 fps cam bro you can't really do live streaming from a mobile phone with 60 fps um, 
that's the problem. It's not that my camera doesn't support it, and I actually have some top-end cameras at home, but um, for live streaming, it's not really possible to do more than this. Here in Okashira line would be good. I totally agree. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, probably would have to divide that into two parts, but then it should definitely be possible. Uh, that's the name of the shop you'll be having fried oysters from. Uh, I think it's gonna be a regular Otoya, which is this very cheap chain selling ma. Decent, simple Japanese food. So they have like fried oysters, fried oyster, like cookie fried teishoku, which is yeah, fried oysters with rice and miso soup and uh, some pickles for like a thousand yen. So, very reasonable. Otoya, yes. <laughs> I like Otoya. I definitely prefer Otoya over Yoshinoya or Tsukiya or those Gyudon chains. Otoya feels a little bit better, a little bit more decent. Can you do Toyoko line? Uh, I might, yeah, I would love to. It's a very long line though. Um, but. It would be a lot of fun to walk to walk from Tokyo to Yokohama. That would be interesting. Or from Shibuya to Yokohama. Thank you, JVS Old School Bible. Thank you very much. This is also a nice little place, actually. I could have lunch around here. There's a few, it's like a mini, mini food court. Then I would have to sit outside and that looks a little bit cold. Not sure if I want to do that. Even if they had heaters in there. Uh, I actually think for this kind of videos, I think 60 FPS makes a lot of sense. I would love to do 60 FPS if I could, if it was technically possible. Um, but it's not with my current setup. And uh, also I think 60 FPS needs higher bandwidth and I think if I would have more bandwidth at my disposal I would rather increase the resolution first rather than the frame rate but you know all my pre-recorded walking videos they're all 60 FPS and I actually went out and bought cameras that could do 4k 60 FPS just for that reason because I think for walking videos 60 FPS is just much nicer. But for other kinds of content, I'm not too fond of 60 FPS. It looks a bit too smooth and unnatural. But for walking videos, yeah, I prefer 60.
I had to choose if I could choose between 1440p streams at 30 FPS or 1080p at 60, I would probably go to 1440p. Which might be the next step. We are approaching our destination and we are also 15 seconds away from the two hour mark so pretty spot on two hours today I'm almost surprised over how accurate my estimation was um, so yeah once I hit the station I will end the stream so thanks everyone who stopped by today. I hope you enjoyed this um, hope you enjoyed this stream despite the boring weather and also the fact that par large parts of this walk was pretty boring I felt like I didn't enjoy this walk that much personally um, to be honest. Um, but I knew that uh, even before I started that this this uh, part is pretty boring uh, but anyway at least we are done with this train line now so we can think about another one for future streams Park next time, yeah. Could definitely do a park stream. Maybe revisit some of the parks close to my home that I can get to on my bike so I don't have to worry about riding the trains. Uh, achievement unlocked, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we made it. Mizonokuchi Station in Kawasaki So in two walks we went from Oimachi near Shinagawa in central Tokyo to yeah, a different city Station over there or actually the to you Oimachi line station is straight ahead here. This is the JR line station over here. But yeah, that being said, thanks a lot for joining me. And uh, yeah, I do need a new <laughs> playlist category. I think so too. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, I will probably eat and then take the train back home, yes. Okay, I'm not sure if I will do any more weeks before uh, any more walks this week. Um, it's quite likely that my next walk will be on Saturday, uh, especially if this boring weather continues. But we'll see. Depends. I'm very spontaneous, and I might change my mind again. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you all soon. Bye bye. Hey do. Matane. Auf